guess you're wondering what are all of these things for? Well, not everything. We don't need the cucumber and I don't need the pineapple that I bought from the store what my mom bought for us. And I don't need the kombucha and I don't need the red tomatoes and I don't need that garlic. But I don't, and I don't need this calendula either. But everything else, the cabbage, the green tomatoes, the red peppers, the hot peppers, the green peppers, and more hot peppers. We are making chow chow. A southern thing is what I hear. All right, so first off, we're gonna get everything chopped up to make the chow chow. It's going to be four sweet bell peppers, four green tomatoes, two onions, two red peppers, and two um, cayenne peppers. We're doing one ring of fire and one cayenne long, both cayenne peppers, but we're using what's in the garden. So that's the ones that we have. Um, and one head of cabbage. So Sam is starting on her onion. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the peppers. She has my favorite knife. So I'm gonna use this one here. Which I don't really like to use for cutting, but that's okay. a new trick with cutting peppers to easily get everything out which I usually don't have a problem getting my insides out but I wanted to try it anyway so basically you just want to get it so that you have a ring so you chop the top of it chop the back of it and then you kind of slice it out that way so for these I'm just going to cut them in, I'd say that's about a, between a quarter and a half inch-ish to get these sliced and then they will go in our little special chopper that we have so that they're all generally the same size. Here's my chopper that we like to use. It's great because it has measurements on the side. So you can see that. So you can know, you can tap it up like this and it'll show you half cup, one cup, one and a half, two cups. So that's really cool. It's also in milliliters on the other side. But, but here's my chopper. So we'll put the stuff in here and just press it down so we have a nice even chop.
So here are our red peppers. Alright, so next we're going to get the green peppers done. So I'm going to let Sam do this part yeah. and I'll chop some onions. My onions are getting to you. Yeah. All right, so our green peppers are done. So we got all the green peppers and the red peppers done. Here they are in our container. See red's on the bottom. And this will all be mixed up when the time comes. All right, so Sam's gonna do the next step as far as I slice the. So I sliced up the onions and she's gonna get them chopped. I'm gonna move on to the green tomatoes. So I'm just gonna rinse these off. Yeah, it's got a little show from Silas. Okay, Silas, so back up. You can't see anymore. Put it on the bench. So for these, I'm just gonna core them with my tomato core. Here are the onions. The only thing I don't like about this chopper is that 
You have to go through and clean that stuff out. All right, tomatoes are sliced and are ready to be chopped. chopped. I feel like that's stuck in the ground the bottom. Okay, I give up. I've tried to do this glove thing and it's like not staying on my hand. This whole thing is done? Yep, should be. Mm -hmm.
All right, so I'm gonna put my rest of this cabbage in here. I'm gonna wait to put those peppers in. Now everything's in there. I'm going to go ahead and um, flick these cayenne peppers in there. cup of canning pickling salt. I'm just going to sprinkle on it. Shake that up a little bit. Now that that's in there, I'm just going to mix that salt in along with those scary cayenne peppers that I put in there. Cayenne peppers are not my friend. <laughs> Suckers are hot. Smell good. Is it does smell good? Mm-hmm. I think it all tastes good with like chicken in it. Like if you like all that raw and then you just put chicken like um ground chicken. Chicken breasts. Oh I did that spoon for raw. Yeah. Hmm? I like a spoon. Yeah, I like a spoon. Alright, so Sam's gonna taste this. Well, actually, it doesn't have the seasonings in it yet. That's tomorrow. So, this is an overnight thing we're doing here. It is 8 16 p.m. And this is going to, you want this to sit refrigerated for about six hours or overnight if you can. So, we're gonna do it overnight. And so then tomorrow morning, I'll get up and start the canning process and do the next part, which you will also be here for. But we do have rainbow ice cream. <laughs> you have rainbow sherbet? <gasps> you have what, ice cream? That's the rainbow one. Yeah, I love it. It was delicious when it was good night. It was good night. And <laughs> Sam made us delicious pizza. And we ate it. Oh, no. <laughs> And we ate the pepperoni off. Yeah, back up, okay? <laughs> all right, so now that that is all mixed up pretty well, really good, I'm gonna cover it with aluminum foil and let it sit. It'll 
it'll sit out on the counter until we go to bed and then I'll put it in the fridge for the overnight. All right, we'll see you in the morning. All right guys, so we are back. I have drained and rinsed my mixture here of all the veggies and I have a stock pot here. So I'm just gonna put um, five cups of vinegar, white vinegar in here. And to that, we're gonna add our spices. And so I have a bowl here that I've put all my spices in. So I'm gonna put these in here. And this is crushed red pepper flakes, ground cloves, ground cinnamon, ground ginger, turmeric, mustard seed, dry mustard, celery seed. All of that's going in there. Okay, I'm also going to add three cups of sugar to this. I'm just gonna mix that in. Get that vinegar and all the spices mixed together. While I'm waiting for this to get done, I'm gonna get my jars for canning and my pot ready. So I'm gonna make sure those are sterilized and clean and get my pot of water started because that takes a while to get that water um, hot. So I have all my stuff ready for the canning process. I have my lids, I have my funnel, my jar grabber. I have a bowl here of vinegar, my lid grabber, and my bubble, um, bu bubble popper, I guess. And also it serves as, as a measuring to make sure I have enough head space. So that's on a very low heat so it can come to a simmer. I have my jars in the water bath canner where they are just being sterilized. And this is also the water that I will use to water bath can them. And back here I have a small pan, saucepan, with just my lids to make sure those are sterilized as well. So we're getting everything ready to go. I will bring you along as we continue on. All right, so our mixture has been simmering for 10 minutes. I am hoping that I can fit all of this into this stock pot. I have a bigger one, but it's like huge. So I'm just gonna start scooping this in here. If it doesn't fit, I'll just get the other pot out. Get that really mixed up. So all those spices gets in every inch of it. It smells really good. Definitely smells like a relish. You can smell the vinegar a lot. But it also smells hot. So this is going to simmer for another 10 minutes. Okay, now this is coming to a, a simmer, I'm gonna start restart my timer for 10 minutes. So, and that's just to make sure that these are nice and soft. So that's got seven more minutes to go. And like I said, my jars are in here sterilizing. They were already at a high boil and I just turned it down, took the top off so that they can just kind of cool down a little bit so I can handle them to put them on the counter for 
getting them ready to be canned. All right, so I am getting my jars out of the boiling water now that they are sterilized. So these are ready to go. My timer's gonna go off in a few seconds for that. All right, so my timer's going off. So I have my ladle in my jar. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the chow chow. You can see it here. And I'm just gonna ladle this into the hot jar and I'm going to leave a half inch of headspace. which is also my measurer for the headspace which I don't always use the measurer for the headspace because after you've been doing it for a while you kind of know where your spacing is are hot so I can't really touch it too much. I just want to show you how I'm just pushing down in there to make sure there's no bubbles in it. And I'm going to measure. There's little numbers on here which you can see so if it was here it'd be one fourth. This is one half and I am at the one half mark. One half and then three fourths and then one inch. So that's done. And I'm gonna take a clean towel, dip it in my little bowl of vinegar here. So I'm gonna take my vinegar, like I said, and just wipe the rim off. And you just wanna do that to make sure that it's clean so that you have a nice solid um, seal on your jars. I'm just gonna place it on top. Grab a lid. Use this towel to hold this because this is hot. And just close it till it's finger tight with a little bit of resistance. And I just set it aside, or you can put it in the canner for the next um, and wait until you have all of your jars done. You can do that as well. So I'll do another one. Let's get my mixture a whirl. Usually like one and a half of these spoons. This is my canning spoon. One and a half of those will fill a pint usually. It's where I need it. Sometimes it's a little bit too much, sometimes a little bit too less. And on those times I'll just scoop out a little bit. So now I'm going to a half inch head space. Just 
looks like it's a little bit too much. So I'll check it. It's kind of like right at it. So I'm just going to take a little four fork or spoon and dump a little bit back in. All the utensils you use, you want to make sure it's a non-reactive, so you don't want to use aluminum. I don't have any aluminum utensils, so, or pots even. Okay, just going to again, make sure my jar is nice and clean. White with the vinegar. And press to get a hot lid. Place it on top. Grab a ring, finger tight. And I am going to go ahead and put this in here so it's out of my way my canner can hold seven jars at a time that's it so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of these and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done so they're all in the canner and I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat back up so they can start boiling Five minutes so it can just gradually cool down on its own. Alright, so our five minutes is up. So they've been sitting here, so I'm gonna go ahead and take each jar and sit it on my towel on the counter so they can continue to cool. Their tops and the lids will pop and do their complete seal. All right, so we are all done. We have seven pints and one half pint over there because I had a little bit left and I have a little small jelly jar, so that's what I used to just put it in there. These are all done. Some of them are marked with an H because there's a little extra hot peppers in there from my friend who requested this. So that's it, guys. So they're gonna sit here and um, you'll start to hear them pop when the lid starts sealing. That's how you know you got a good seal. I will take the rings off after a few hours and then at 24 hours they can go on the canning shelf.